hello out there welcome to this tutorial on sods in this video we'll be looking at square roots of binomial sods we start with the problems problem one find the square roots of each of the following we have a 5 plus 2 root 6 b 12 minus 4 root 5 and c 11 minus root 112 these are examples of binomial sorts. So we start with the A part of the problem. For A, we let the square root be root x plus root y. So we know that if square root of 4 is equal to 2, then 4 is 2 raised to the power 2. So it is based on this principle. We are going to find the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6. So we say square root of 5 plus 2 root 6. We said it should be root x plus root y. So we equate it to root x plus root y. Then which is as good as squaring both sides. So if you square the sides now, we have 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to root x plus root y raised to the power 2. Then we now go ahead and expand this. So the expansion will be root x plus root y into root x plus root y. So root x times root x gives x. Root x times root y gives root x y. So that's going to be plus root x y. Then we are done with multiplying each of the terms in the second bracket by root x we go ahead and multiply root y by each of the terms in the second bracket so we have root y times root x will give us plus root x y then root y times root y gives y so we have it as plus y so here when we are bringing it here we are going to rearrange and simplify the middle terms. So we have 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to x plus y. And root xy plus root xy gives 2 root xy. So we have it as plus 2 root xy. Then we now compare. In our comparison, this x plus y is the rational part while 5 is the rational part here so which means x plus y is equal to 5 we call that equation 1 then also the irrational part if you look at this we have square root of 6 and we have square root of x y and here we have 2 outside the root 2 outside the root which means x y is equal to 6 and that will give us equation 2 then from equation 1 we can make any of the variables the subject of the relation so we say y is equal to 5 minus x by taking this x to the right hand side it becomes minus x so we call this equation 3 we now substitute equation 3 in equation 2 so we say put 3 in 2. Putting 3 in 2, wherever you see y, you put 5 minus x. So since we have x, y equal to 6, so we are going to have it as x times y, which is 5 minus x is equal to 6. We then expand. x times 5 gives 5x. x times negative x gives negative x squared is equal to 6. So here we are going to form a quadratic equation and uh, we want the coefficient of x squared to be positive which is as good as saying take this to this side it becomes plus, take this to this side it becomes minus. So we now have our equation as x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So we now factorize. Um, I have x inside bracket. I have x inside bracket is equal to 0. 
We are looking for two factors of 6 whose sum will give us negative 5. So we have them as negative 2 and negative 3. Since negative 2 times negative 3 will give us positive 6, and negative 2 plus negative 3 gives negative 5. So we have this as minus 2 minus 3. So we have factorized. We know x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we know x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3. Then we now go ahead to find the values of y using each of the values of x. So from equation 3, when x is equal to 2, when x is equal to 2, so we have y equal to 5 minus 2, which is 3. So we have y equal to 3. And when x is equal to 3, also 5 minus 3 we give 2. So we have it as y is equal to 2. Then we now go ahead to substitute into this our assumed square roots. Since we've gotten the values of x and y. So the square roots are... Um, when x is 2, we have root 2 plus when x is 3, we have root 3. And that's going to give us twice. If you substitute in the values of x equal to 3 and y is equal to 2, you are still going to have root 3 plus root 2, which is the same. So we are done with a part of this problem. We go to b part. For b... In this case, the connector here is positive, here is negative. So in making any assumption now, we have to take that into consideration. So that we let the root be root x minus root y. And if you expand this, the irrational part is going to be negative and it is going to be two roots x y now we need to transform these four roots fives in such a way that instead of this four we have two like it is contained in a part of the problem so we go ahead to do that um four is two times two so we go two times two then root five we are interested in these two to be outside the roots but we want this to be inside the roots. As a result of that, we're going to find the root of a number that will give us 2. And the root is 4. So we have 2 times root 4 times root 5. You see, remember, we can multiply this to get root 20. And finally, we have our answer as 2 root 20. So we have transformed it in such a way that we have two outside the square root as it is in A. So in writing this again, we now say 12 minus 2 root 20. Then their square root is equal to root x minus root y. Squaring both sides, I have 12 minus 2 root 20 is equal to root x minus root y all squared and uh, we don't need to go into expansion again we borrow from the first expansion and since this one is negative it is the part that has two roots x y that will be negative so we have it as 12 minus 2 root 20 is equal to x plus y then minus 2 root xy. So we now compare again. The x plus y is the rational part. While 12 is the rational part here. We have x plus y is equal to 12. We call this equation 1. And then we go ahead to what we have inside the root. So here we have the square root of 20. Here we have square root of xy. And what we have outside the two square roots is 2. So we can now equate and say xy is equal to 20 and call this equation 2. 
So from equation one, we make y the subject of the relation so that we now have 12 minus x and that is equation 3 then we go ahead to put 3 in 2 we put this in this equation so that wherever we see y you put 12 minus x so we go ahead so x into 12 minus x is equal to 20 expanding this bracket we have 12x minus x squared is equal to 20. Then forming our quadratic equation from there, we are going to have x squared minus 12x plus 20 is equal to 0. So having gotten the our quadratic equation, we solve by factorization. So we have x in bracket, x in the second bracket, and we are now looking for factors of 20. Only two factors of 20 whose sum will give us negative 12. And the factors are negative 10 and negative 2. So we have it as minus 2 minus 10. Since x minus 2 into x minus 10 is equal to 0, it means x minus 2 is equal to 0. When we solve that, we have x is equal to 2. And also x minus 10 is equal to 0. Solving that, we have x is equal to 10. So we have our values of x as x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 10. Then we now use this to get the values of y. So from equation 1, um, we have when x is 2, y is equal to 10. And from equation 1 also, when x is 10, y is equal to 2. So we go ahead to substitute into this. Since we have two sets of values here and the connector here is subtraction, we are going to have two roots. So the square roots are root 2 since when x is 2, y is 10. So we have it as minus root 10 or subtraction is not commutative. So when x is 10, we have root 10 minus root 2, since when x is 10, y is 2. And that is all for the solution of problem 1b. We go to c. For problem c, we don't even have to outside the square root here. So we transform that one also. But then... We let the square root be root x plus root y. So transforming this, we are going to have square root of 112 divided by 4. So that will give us a square root of 4 times 28. Since we need 2 and square root of 4 is 2. That's why we divided by 4 here. And the result is 28. So 4 times 28 we give 112. So square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 28. Final answer is 2 root 28. So instead of square root of 112, we are going to put 2 root 28. So we now have it as 11 plus 2 root 28. We find the square root is equal to root x plus root y so having gotten that we square both sides 11 plus 2 root 28 is equal to root x plus root y all squared so we have already gotten the expansion of this so we have it as x plus y plus 2 root x y comparing the two sides we have x plus y is equal to 11. We call this equation 1. And uh, we go to the irrational part. Here we have 2 outside the root, 2 outside the root. What we have inside the roots are 28 and xy. So we can say xy is equal to 28. Then we call that equation 2. Then from equation 1, we see, remember, y is equal to 11 
minus x. Having gotten 11 minus x, we call it equation 3. We then put 3 in 2. So we go to 2 wherever we see y, you put 11 minus x. So straight away, we have x into 11 minus x is equal to 28. Expanding this, we have x times 11, which gives 11x minus x squared is equal to 28. So um, rearranging it, you have a quadratic equation. We have x squared minus 11x plus 28 is equal to 0. Again, we factorize. So we have x in bracket, x in bracket. This is equal to 0. Two factors of 28 whose sum is negative 11. So the factors are minus 4 and 7. So having gotten x as minus 4 and 7, we have x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 7. So with this, we go ahead to find the values of y. From equation 1, when x is equal to 4, our y is equal to 7. And when x is equal to 7, our y is equal to 4. So substituting x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 7, and remember, since it, they are addition, it is still going to give us, in any way, the same value for root x plus root y, whichever we substitute. So we say the roots are square root of 4, which is 2, plus square root of 7, and uh, we said it's going to be 2 plus root 7 twice. And that is the end of solution to C part of the problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on sorts. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.